the fuck is happening? Well, it doesn't sound like the call was no big deal. It sounds like it was important to you. Sophie's alive. Did I... Did I actually manage to rewind time? Max, are you okay? It kind of seems like you're on drugs. Huh? Oh. If I had drugs to take, don't you think... I'd share? How about it, Mom? You want to get blasted with your favorite photographer? Honestly, Safia, you act like I was born into this world old. I had my wild years. Sorry, uh... What were we talking about? Somebody mentioned a phone call? Hmm, yes. I was shocked too. I didn't know people still answered their phones. Funny, Mom. And yeah, it wasn't a big deal. It was... Just from the publisher. Right! Your book! The secret book! I'm so proud of my girl. Publishing is always such a difficult endeavor. Thanks, Mom. Is no one going to take our order? It's been, like, a few minutes. Have you ever had a food service job? Like, ever? I can go ask what the holdup is, Yasmin. No sweat. See? That is so thoughtful of you, Maxine. No need. The whole place could use a facelift, to be honest. Come on, Yasmin. You don't have anywhere else to be? I need to ask Sophie about... God, where do I even start? What is that? Oh shit. Dude, your nose. It's fine. Just a nosebleed. Um, back in a sec. We did this. This? This lunch. They can entertain each other. They've had years of practice. I still can't believe Safi is here. Alive. Having lunch with Yasmin as if everything is normal. As if I didn't see her die two days ago. In case this does all go sideways. It was supposed to be a candid. <sighs> You'll never catch me alive. I swear, one day I'll get a candid of Safi. I guess that prankster hasn't been back. Bet Amanda's glad. I wonder what they're prepping for. It's like Christmas, but not Christmas. What's all this? Is there a live event happening? Do you like it? We're getting ready for our annual Krampus celebration. Oh, sweet. Another newbie. Hope you come. December 6th. So, it's the same day here. I didn't go back in time. Something else is happening. I 
I wonder if this diamond also has strong feelings about this Lucas. Nice to see this place gearing up for Christmas. Aw, this truly fills me with the holiday spirit. Hey, so... Did you do any campus activities when you were in school? You know all about my college days, Safia. Yeah, I know about your GPA. The drugs you took. What? Come on, Mom. I'm supposed to see through your invulnerable mom mask as I age. I like that you took drugs. Safia, Maxine is here. She's my employee. What? You can have lunch with your employee, but you can't tell her about all the drugs you used to do? Legally? Yes. What crazy system is running this country? Come on, Mom. I'm supposed to see through your invulnerable mom mask as I age. I like that you took drugs. Safia, Maxine is here. She's my employee. What? You can have lunch with your employee, but you can't tell her about all the drugs you used to do? Legally? Yes. Crazy system. Wherever I am, looks like beer still exists. Unfortunate. Wow, these really are the worst lines I've seen. Right, of course. There's a snapping turtle, so there's an Amanda. Hey, stranger. How are you doing? Oh, I'm doing good. Normal. Hmm. Cool. Convincing. <laughs> I uh, shot you a couple texts. I don't know if you saw them. Remind me what we decided on last time we talked? My brain is sort of leaking out of my ears. <laughs> that time of year, huh? Um, a couple nights ago, you asked me if I wanted to hang. Uh, I said yes. Therefore, we decided that we would, in the near future, you know, hang. <laughs> Ringing any bells? Uh, yes. I... <clears throat> Loud and clear. I should get back to work. Take it easy, eh? Okay, I still talked to Amanda two days ago. So far, everything here seems basically the same, except... I was hoping my nosebleed days were behind me. It feels connected to that humming and whatever caused it. Yep, this is definitely the source of the hum and my nosebleed. Let's poke it with a stick. Gender neutral bathrooms, we love to see it. The source of the humming, but what is it? Holy shit. I'm... I'm back, aren't I? In... Dead World. This is so fucking crazy. That's the way back across.
How is Safi posting right now? Okay, oh, that's so I just can know. cross a back and forth. Doorway to that's dead good to know. Safi and Yasmin are probably wondering where I am. I should get back to them. Whatever happened with Visionary Ventures? You applied, right? I sort of got the job already. Carla, that's huge. Why aren't we tearing up the turtle right now? One, it's the crack of I news. I bitch. Amanda didn't spend all her soup energy on cooking for me. Another Polaroid from our mystery photographer. Except...
No, Tony, I love it. I do. It's as thoughtful as ever. No, no buts. Only, I know you. If you sent me a gift, it means you won't be coming this year either. Krampus isn't unsettling, it's fun. But honestly, I wanted you to finally meet Safi and Max. You love them. Right, next year for sure. And thank you again for the gift, Tony. I mean it. Love you back, babe. Whoa. Am I hearing stuff from that other world? I didn't see Moses and the Snapping Turtle, though. This makes no sense. I hate that they canceled Krampus for one dead student. Jesus Christ, bro. I don't mean it in an insensitive way. Just death rates on college campuses aren't zero. People die all the time. Do people get shot all the time? I guess not. Oh shit, this is the Amanda I talked to this morning? Max, you're here. I'm here. Surprise. You good? I'm okay. You really cheered me up earlier. Happy to lend out my comedic stylings to girls in need. <laughs> Thanks. Are you here for... We already talked in her office. She seems to be doing... You know... Bad. God knows. I offered her free coffee for as long as she wants it. I gotta get back to it. Don't forget I'm here for you, okay? Thanks, Amanda. Oh, hi, Miss Caulfield. I'm sorry for your loss. Huh? You were close to Safi, right? Oh, yeah. Thanks. I appreciate it. No Christmas decorations on this side. Another Yasmin. OG Yasmin? She's so strong. I'd be a total mess in her shoes. Hi, Yasmin. Oh, Maxine. You're here. I'd invite you to sit down, but... Uh... I understand. Canceled the Christmas party. I guess that makes sense. That's the way back across.
They can entertain each other. They've had years of practice. Honestly, Safia, I wish you'd have told me sooner. I was getting around to it. All clear? We don't need to get you a blood transfusion. Oh, I'm golden. Probably just the weather, you know? Oh, did the forecast call for massive nosebleeds? Duty calls. Send me the bill for the windshield, please, Safia. Windshield? Another piece of shit pie. Someone... Hold on, it's easier if I just show you. Jesus. Fuck, Safi. Is that your car? Charming, right? I found it this morning. You don't think it's some sort of a threat? From who? Vegans? Stop eating burgers, or this is about to be you. <laughs> this is gonna sound bananas, but I feel like I've met this cow. You have. It's from right over there. <sighs> Whatever, I gotta meet the tow truck. Wait, hold on. The broken horn. It looks like there was something written on it. Max, you know I adore you, but... Read the room, bud. I'm not really in the mood to stare at photos of my fucked up car all day. Yeah, sorry. It's okay, Rathi. She's gone. Oh, tell me my proposal was shitty, Isabel. That would be a bald faced lie, right? I challenge you. I challenge anyone on this campus to devise a better pitch. Impossible. Who in this day and age would be against a four-day work week? Dr. Yasmin Fayad, it turns out. The same school president gracing the covers of magazines as the new face of higher ed? The only thing more surprising than her rejection was the speed at which it came. I really thought things would be different under her leadership. More fool I. She has time for lunch with her daughter once a week, and I can't have one Friday for myself. Hold up. Safi's alive in this world. Her car probably didn't get trashed in the other, right? When she told us a ways back... <laughs> the skull's missing here, but... Maybe the turtle in... Dead world still has one? Oh, that's just, you know, a doorway to dead world. Oofa doofa. That's gonna take some getting used to. Safe and sound. Fuck. Size does matter. I'm going to have to find a way to get up there. I'm pretty sure I just saw a stepladder. Where was that?
I know I saw a stepladder. My memory's not that bad, so where is it? December in Vermont. I told you it can't be inside. That's a safe zone. Taking the bathroom key was like a really good idea. Did you see how many drinks he... Oh, uh, hey. Don't mind us. What are they planning to do with the bathroom key? Hey, do you have the bathroom key? Uh... Yeah? Could I... grab that from you? We're using it. We'll put it back when we're done. You're using it? Yup. They are definitely up to something with that key. Not that they're gonna talk about it with me standing here. What are they planning to do with the bathroom key? I should use my power to look in on them. From... Dead World. Oh, that's just, you know, a doorway to Dead World. in the other world. That should help me reach the cow skull.
Wasn't there a stepladder around here somewhere? That should help me reach the cow skull. That's the way back across. Gender neutral bathrooms. We love to see it. <laughs> oh, that's just, you know, a doorway to Dead World. It keeps me from the world. Oh, that's just, you know, a doorway to Dead World. That's the way back across. Finally, a chance to live out my lifelong dream of being a tall girl. Hey, Amanda. I have kind of a weird question. Do you ever have non-weird questions? Occasionally. On a leap year. The whole year or just February 29th? Now who's asking weird questions? <sighs> Alright, hit me then. What's the question? Have you had any skulls go missing lately? Wow. Um, that's an extremely specific question, and I can't believe the answer is yes. Our only skull, in fact. I'm dying to know why you ask. Because it somehow ended up in Sophie's windshield. <laughs> Uh, wait, what the fuck? Are you serious? Yeah, I'm trying to unravel the mystery. Jesus. A skull? I mean, have they never heard of a brick? When did you notice your cow got rustled? Literally just this morning, before I clocked in. It had to be sometime last night. Did you see anything suspicious? I mean... The Abraxas kids are perpetually suspicious. They took up like six tables last night. Maybe one of them saw something. Hell, maybe one of them stole it. Thanks. I appreciate the info. Anytime, Nancy Drew. Look forward to seeing you there. Mm, maybe there isn't even... Oh, that's just, you know, a doorway to Dead World. What 
are they planning to do with the bathroom key? Should use my power to look in on them. Oh, that's From just, you know, a dead doorway world. to dead world. Ugh, this is so stylized, I can barely read it. Lucas Colmenero. Lucas Colmenero. Oh, shit. Did Lucas throw this through her window? That seems even less likely than the Abraxas kids. Maybe they were in it together? This doesn't make any sense. to think. What is going on? What if it's not just a prank? What if this Safi is in danger too? I just got her back. At least I know where to start. Lucas Colmenero and the Abraxas Society. Find the Skull Rustler. Save Safi, hopefully. And my best leads are Lucas Colmenero and the Abraxas Society. Vin's the head honcho of Abraxas. I should cross over and see if he's around. Maybe I should do a little digging into Gwyn Hunter too. She was acting pretty odd earlier. I should cross over and start asking questions. Whoever fucked with Safi's car isn't just gonna out themselves.
Whoever messed with Safi's car is in the other timeline. If living Safi could see this, I bet she'd be mortified. It's all so earnest. Daily platypus facts. Is this what I've been missing all my life? to get to the That's my handwriting. Wait. Am I the mystery photographer? Score! Diamond the gazillion points. Reggie zero. I thought we said no more ambushes. Stop whining. You're fine. But the snowball war got called off in Dead World. I don't think this is the other timeline. It must be some other one. <laughs> Sophie told me the campus would be gorgeous for the holidays. Glad I actually get to see that here. I should talk to Finn about the cow skull. So, how do you keep things fresh after literal decades of passionate embracing? Uh... Freezing. I can't believe you dragged me outside for this. First of all, they're way too big to be normal. And secondly, look at those toes. They're all sorts of fucked. Ugh, that's because they aren't toes, genius. They're claws. These are classic bird tracks. Can we go now? I want to get back home before this edible kicks in. Art student prank or horrifying creature, the world may never know. Like Nothing like a fun mystery to get you out of bed, huh, guys? The size of these things. Interesting endeavor, maintaining snow art. Men, what's stopping you from dressing like this? Would Safi even want a memorial tree? And would Yasmin insist if she didn't? This is a work of art that came from a strange and tortured mind. This world's Vin also seems to enjoy an audience. Okay. 
And uh, don't get cute either. You find it, you bring it right back to me. Well, go! Find it! Undergrads, <laughs> am I right? Can't live with them, can't run a shadowy secret society without them. <laughs> you ever want to borrow one, just let me know. No one should be without a lackey, Max. And yet, I've made it this far somehow. You lose something? Mostly my patience. Okay. Hey, I... Um, yeah, yeah. Cute banter, barely restrained sexual tension, etc. I'm busy, Max. Another time. Wow. Okay. What does Vin have them looking for? Let's say I find your missing patients. Then I wouldn't be busy anymore. Would I? This world's Vin also seems to enjoy an audience. If some hot chips don't get you in A, I don't know what will. Oh, come on. What the? Note to self, avoid this bush. Vin seems really distracted. Whatever he lost must be important. <laughs> that person's skating on thin ice. And I can't believe I don't even mean that metaphorically. Brutal. Looks like something's on the prowl. Maybe it was that owl I saw the other night. I should see what those Abraxas goons are up to. I wonder if the artist who made this lived in Hellerton House at some point. Metalworking is kind of like photography. You never know quite how the environment will shape your work.
Then see. Vin seems really distracted. Whatever he lost must be important. Oh wow, I hate that these are on both sides. Last time I was at this bench was different. clearly takes priority. How do I protect the Safi I have left? Should I be worried? The last time I had powers, everything went to complete and utter shit. Vin seems really distracted. Whatever he lost must be important. I should see what those Abraxas goons are up to. Vin seems really distracted.
she's staring holes into Yasmin's portrait. I wonder why. I was literally just in there comforting Yasmin. But this Yasmin doesn't need comforting. This is nice and all, but there's an actual barista just next door. Hmm, it's like her eyes follow you wherever you go. Damn, guess Ven's not here. Guess Ven's not back yet. Hmm, not totally sure how to read these, but... I don't like the look of that tower card. Disciplinary hearing? I wonder what that's about. Very macabre chic, but I guess that's Ben's brand. A lot of cancelled meetings. I wonder what's going on with this Yasmin. A Krampus of your very own. Looks like Ben takes it black. Aw, what a cute little guy. He won a drama award. Shocker. This must belong to someone flashy, and forgetful, and cold. Is that a therapist's business card? I'll bet some folks on the other side could use that. Time to head to the Fine Arts Building. Hope that's just coffee. It's too bad you went here in the 60s, Gretch. We could have gotten stoned together. I want to be a bust. How does one become a bust? I'm going to call you Pauline. Have you been watered recently, Pauline? I don't think this is what the artist intended. Back to normal. The undergrads are restless. Oh. 
cozy. Someone thinks they're funny. <laughs> Dignity restored. Why, there's something on your lip, my good man. And not even a thank you? Rude. I wonder if Sophie's book will make it in here, once it's published. Hi, Mama. Can you hear me okay? No, I'm just turning in some end-of-semester paperwork. Final grades for my Astronomy 101 student. Time to head to the Fine Arts Building. Looks like this Vin is taking a break. Pick a card, any card, or whatever. Fucking shit. Oh. Oh. Max. <laughs> it's just you. Huh? What can I do you for? Are you pouring whiskey into your coffee? Yes. Any particular reason why? World is a fuck, etc., etc. Join me. How many of those do you have? Ooh, just don't check the recycling. <laughs> is this about Sophie? <sighs> Sophie, Sophie, Sophie. Everything is about Sophie nowadays. This isn't about Safi, Max. This is about you and me. Right. Come on. Uh, illicit day drinking with your coworkers is sexy. Be sexy, Max. <laughs> I think I'll pass on the sexiness. <laughs> What do they mean? It's called a three-card pull. This one represents my past, the magician. It means I'm exceptionally talented, though you already knew that about me. My present, the Nine of Wands. Upside down like that, it means I'm exhausted, feeling vulnerable, and, well, guilty as charged. And my future, the Wheel of Fortune in Reverse, a.k.a. the Fuck Around and Find Out card. I think I'm about to find out. 
Foreboding. Fear of the future. It's the spice of life, Max. In my experience, we tend to cause the exact thing we're trying to avoid. <laughs> Where were you last week? Of course, I know what they're doing. My grief isn't affecting my brain. No, no, no. Don't tell them that. No. Listen. Can you stall the board? Stall them. I'll be there as soon as I can. Absolutely I am. No, no. Well, yes, I should be taking off because my fucking child is dead, but I don't think that's an option. She just can't catch a break, huh? Not even at a time like this. I think we all feel a bit busted sometimes. Aw, oh, poor little guy. What happened to you? Please, don't touch that. It was a gift. I plan on gluing it back together. Those look like they should be in a file folder somewhere. Um, is that what I think it is? My acting award? Why, yes. Yes, it is. Jeez. Somebody robbed an airport lounge. Time to head to the Fine Arts Building. That's the fourth bottle I've seen our fearless leader open this afternoon. Is he trying to act all grief-stricken because his boss's kid died? He and Safi were in the same year in undergrad. Maybe they knew each other. So? Everyone knows Vin. Time to head to the Fine Arts Building. I'm going up there with or without you. I have to see it with my own eyes. See what? You talked to one Renikop. What have I told you about sources? Are we really doing this? Okay, let's see. Magnetism, cold spots, lack of fauna. Do I have to spell it out for you? You're describing every paranormal phenomenon ever. Time to head to the Fine Arts Building. I can probably find Gwen in her office. And I think Lucas has a habit of working over by the cafe.
Wise words. Vin seems really distracted. Whatever he lost must be important. I should see what those Abraxas goons are up I should see what those Abraxas goons are up to. Diamonds in Abraxas. Maybe she knows what Ven is looking for. Waiting for someone, Diamond? Mm-hmm. Moses. He asked me to help him carry snacks back to the lab, but I guess he forgot. Isn't that kind of menial for a TA? So my job is menial now? I didn't. I'm fucking with you. <laughs> Nah, Moses probably just got distracted, off polishing his new telescope. If it were anyone but him, I'd ask if that was a euphemism. <laughs> Those Abraxas kids are really staring, huh? That one on the left is super into me. I danced with him once, once at a club last week. Him? I mean, I was just looking to dance. If I wanted more, he would not be my first choice. Besides, they're on the clock for Vin now. Probably trying to catch me in unabraxis like behavior. What even qualifies as unabraxis like? Let's see. Sincerity, brokenness. Or the hint of brokenness. Oh, and challenging Vin's authority. I think Vin's lost something. It's clearly rattled him. I'll, uh, go ask the goon squad. Good call. Thank 
going to be the way to... Oh. You don't think it's the... Oh, yeah. I don't think good cop, bad cop is the dynamic that the author was aiming for. The author? <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Love that guy. What did Vin put these guys up to? Hey, so Diamond told me she doesn't feel comfortable with you two staring at her. You tell me what Vin's looking for and I won't tell Vin him you're seems skeeving really on a fellow Braxus member. Whatever he lost must be Good important. Talk. There has to be some way I can hear what they're saying without them catching me. I should see what those Abraxas goons are up to. What did Vin put these guys up to? Ben seems really distracted. Whatever he lost must be important. I should see what those Abraxas goons are up to. Vin's lackeys aren't in this world, but I might be able to hear them from this side. Vin seems really distracted. Whatever he lost must be important. I should see what those Abraxas goons are up to. Does he use a pass? Because I don't know if facials are hidden if she's doing walking. I'm not sure. If it's a passcode, Diamond can probably find a way into it. Ah, oh, shit. Good point. Holy shit! Someone took Vin's phone? And they think it was Diamond. I can use this. Kick us out of the Braxis. But when we find it, he'll have to move us up the ranks, right?
So, if you're wondering why those Abraxas kids are eyeballing you, it's because someone stole Finn's phone. Oh, seriously? <laughs> they think it was me? <laughs> the clownery! Of course they do. Of course. So, was it you? Here I was, thinking they didn't let artists in residence join Abraxas. I'm not- And yet you're over here digging through my business on Vin's orders? Take it, that's a no. That's correct, Max. I didn't steal Vin Lang's phone. You don't exactly strike me as the typical, uh, Abraxan. In the Vin Lang mold? God, no. But the org itself has potential. If we could just get him away from it. You ever think about being, I don't know, Abraxas' boss? Queen. <laughs> High priest. President. I would love to... So, are you and Vin... rivals? Enemies? To hear him tell it? Both. And to hear you tell it? Vin is one of those yappy little purse dogs who swears he's a pit. Okay. Cool. Thanks, Diamond. And hey, if you talk to Vin again, tell him the only thing I'm taking from him is his crown. I'm not taking sides, but an Abraxas run by Diamond? I'd love to see that. So, bad news, I'm not sure who took your phone. Good news, it wasn't Diamond. Holy shit. You figured all that out with, like, zero clues? I just knew who to ask. And how. <laughs> so, about my question. I'm free Tuesday after 7. And I'm partial to a Japanese single malt. That's whiskey? <laughs> yes. But damn, do I have so much to teach you. So your place or mine? Cute. And at least a little tempting. But that's not what I was going to ask. Ooh, no fun. So, someone fucked up Sophie's car. They didn't take anything, but they used a cow skull to do it. Jesus. Max, that's crazy. Is she okay? She's fine. Who would do something like that, though? You mean, who in Abraxas would? I didn't say that. No, 
but it's what you meant, isn't it? Anytime some nonsense happens on campus, people trip over themselves accusing Abraxas. Vandalism, destruction of property, that's beneath us, Max. We're performers. The audience wasn't impressed. That's how you know it wasn't us. Besides, how do you even get a cow skull through a windshield? Hold on. I didn't say anything about our windshield. Wild, right? Mm. I'd love to keep chatting and freezing my balls off, but I've got a phone to find. And if I need to reach you? I'll end up in my office eventually. Ben, what did you do? <sighs> Glad my other suspects had the sense to stay indoors. The snapping turtle looking for volunteers at the Lakeport Soup Kitchen? Amanda really is the best. I didn't know a phone booth could feel like a personal attack. Can you give me a second? Surely another minute and a half isn't going to taint the building with my presence. Just leave everything behind, Professor. You won't need any university materials. Yeah, but I do need my car keys if you want me to leave the campus, don't I? Think. You're not to return to Caledon property before the hearing under penalty of law. I know how this works. You don't need to read me my rights. Just doing my job, Professor. That'll go over great in Nuremberg. This is crazy. This is fucking crazy. I told Yasmin already that none of it's true. She knows it's fucking bullshit. Wow. This is all just I guess some something kind of crazy screwy is going thing. down here, too. But at least. Yeesh. I wonder what that was about. This looks like one hell of an art final. I should check it out. Pretty sure you need a time machine to even find a phone booth now. Okay, uh, what do I want to say to the future?
some things are going to be out of your control, and that's okay. That's life. Let it surprise you. Gwen left so much behind. They'd better let her come back for it. So this Gwen just got escorted out by security, while Dead World Gwen is having hushed phone calls about the police and trying to break into locked bookcases. I'm just snoop like I've never snooped before. I'm going to read this, I swear. If I ever have time for pleasure reading again. decided I would hitchhike across the country. If I still wanted to die when I got to the Pacific, then I could do it peacefully. Hell of an opening line, Gwen. about a green thumb. Gwen's wife. Claudia, I think. I met her at a faculty event last month. Gwen fucking adores her. You would never do... what, Gwen? What is this about? Sold her weekly meetings with Safi? Why? Almost a full cup of coffee. Gwen must have just sat down to drink it. With the way they hustled Gwen out, I don't think these students are getting their grades anytime soon. Whoa, Reggie got an A minus?
Loretta doesn't seem like the type to be happy with a bee. machine as I live and breathe. Gwen. Gwen. If you're screening your calls, pick up. I just got an email from Boss Bitch, and the phone is ringing off the hook. What the fuck is happening? Babe. Babe, pick up the phone. I'm sure it looks worse than it is. Just come home, okay? We'll figure this out. Um, Dr. Hunter? This is David from Intro to Nonfiction. Um, I saw the notice in the lecture hall that your classes are going to be canceled for the rest of the semester, and I just wanted to check up and see if you're all right. I mean, I'm sure you're fine, but I don't know. We're all kind of worried. Okay, um, bye. Dr. Hunter, by now, I'm sure you've checked your mailbox and the contents enclosed therein. Please understand, this is a courtesy from one working woman to another. I don't want to hear excuses or lies. I'll have to ask you to leave campus until we can get this whole thing sorted out. Good day. You reap what you sow, Loretta. Oh! You're other Loretta, aren't you? Oh well. This thing looks older than Caledon. Gwen is guilty of plant neglect. Although, I can't really blame her, considering the week we've all had. Drink up, buddy. If Soppy was an undergrad, this reading must have been at least, what, four years ago? Busy woman. These emails are from way back. Like, before Sophie knew she wanted to be a poet.
I knew Gwen mentored Safi, but I didn't realize she was this involved. Looks like Gwen's a popular girl. Dr. Hunter, I appreciate your condolences. You know I do, but I'd prefer if you didn't contact me for a few days. There's a few things I need to get in order. Whatever the case, I'll see you at the staff meeting. You should get the call from Vin later today. Hey babe, just checking in on my favorite workaholic who won't take a single bereavement day. Love you. Take care of yourself, okay? I'll see you tonight. Hi, Professor Hunter. This is Vin Long from Dr. Fyatt's office. I'm just calling to confirm an all-hand staff meeting this afternoon in the second floor lounge in the administration building. Attendance is, unfortunately, mandatory. Gwen, I hope you didn't. <laughs> I'm not sure if you should. I don't know. Just, I wouldn't blame yourself. This is the book I got for Gwen. Wait, what's sticking out from between the pages? Gwen is asking questions about Safi's death. Why would Safi have started acting off on Friday? Something must have happened. Why would Safi have started acting off on Friday? Something must have happened. Between Gwen and me, I bet we've road tripped most of the country. Caked up Mothman, goaded with the sauce. God, why didn't I trade travel stories with Gwen before all this? Live fast, eat ass. Wise words. It's like a bumper sticker evolved into a bookend. Fiction, non-fiction, poetry, plays, bunch of scenes. Is there anything Gwen doesn't read? That must have been some call with Maria on Friday. Gwen even planned out a time to follow up.
All right, Hacker Max. Let's go. Search sent to Maria. Uh, enter. Wait, this is Safi's publisher. Gwen got Safi's book canceled? These emails are from way back, like before Sophie knew she wanted to be a poet. I thought Gwen helped Sophie set this all up in the first place. Why would she? No, this all has to add up. Somehow. Lucas tends to work over by the cafe. The cow school had Lucas's name on it. He might know something. I understand this crime involved. on the ground. But who's Dookie? And who would go over to the toilet, get toilet paper, and then go shit in the sink? This was premeditated. It lit a fire in my passion for justice, and I became dead set on finding the perpetrator. Any more work on that proposal yet? I've never seen Lucas look this happy. I wonder who he's talking to. I... wow. Just... wow.
By the way, did you get your ticket to the Burlington Book Expo yet? Uh, no. When is it again? Shiloh, it's soon. <sighs> Shit, it's probably too late since Lucas Colmanero's giving a talk. I'll live, Alexa. I promise. I can always go next time. Lucas won't be there next time, and you'll probably be knee-deep in law school thoughts. Probably. But picture this. What if Alexa Weiss gave a talk? It's the book expo. You have to have a book to, you know, expo. And you will. I know you have a book in you. Jeez, Lucas looks exhausted. Too bad. I've got questions. Lucas is usually in the cafe at this time. Max. Sorry. Busy, busy. Um, need something? Actually, I... Catherine. I've been waiting for an hour. No, just put Robbie on. Oh, sure. I'm only the boy's father. Who fucking cares, right? How can you say... Whoa. Adds a whole new meaning to nuclear family. If Lucas has it out for Safi, there might be something incriminating in that case. Is that an email? Dated December 5th. That's when Safi's car was vandalized. I need to get in that briefcase. Instant lock opening powers would be great. In the meantime, I have to find that key. Hmm. His notes are great. No wonder his classes are always full. Robbie, I got a split. Uh-huh. <laughs> I love you too, buddy. Weird. This yep. Lucas seems you to bet. be on great terms with his family. Hey. Bye. Lucas. Max. It's... been a hard day. How are you feeling? I mean, someone murdered my friend, so pissed off? It's possible it wasn't a murder, I'm Max. getting pretty tired of hearing people say that. That's a lot of books. A lot of my book. Signed copies for the Burlington Book Expo. They invited me to deliver the keynote this year. Have you seen the standee they put up of me? It's hard to miss. Yeah. Better to put butts in the seats, huh? Here's hoping. <laughs> the standards for the expo have really declined over the years. <laughs> We've had a lot of mediocre Yikes. visitors. This dude can talk. It's a shame. How am I going to get that key? But even after years and years and years, people still love the characters. Oh, crap. I forgot. I, what time is it? <laughs> I have to go give something to Moses, um, before his class. 
Good luck with the book expo. I bet Lucas would really hate if something happened to this. Now, what could I use to do some permanent damage? I should talk to Lucas about the other night. Instant lock opening powers would be great. In the meantime, I have to find that key. That's ludicrous. Yes, I was a shitty father in the past, but I've never intentionally hurt our son. I would never. Yes, I'm fucking sober, Catherine. It's been two years. What the hell kind of question is that? I'm being hysterical? Me? What he's doing is wrong. It always felt like it was. But now I know it's true. I was starting to think my writing just wasn't good enough. How fucked is that? But she stood up for me. Nobody else has ever done that. Ever. So you know what? Fuck that guy. I won't stop writing because he's uncomfortable. That's my message to the future. Wow. Whatever he was talking about, I hope it worked out. It's an excellent cover, isn't it? Guess that explains why his signature was on the thing.
What's the deal with the skull? Ah, you haven't read it, I see. The symbolism is clever, but not lofty. Right. They've got the original skull up in the snapping turtle, you know. Had my book launch party there. Oh, yeah? You can have that copy if you want. It's already signed. If Lucas really is somehow involved, this might come in handy. The cow school had Lucas's name on it. He might know something. Lucas is trying to get some work done. Maybe some loud music will throw off his groove. Do you mind? People are trying to work here. Turn that down! Thank you. Dang, I need a different distraction. That would sure leave a mark on anything made of, say, cardboard. Dare I channel my inner Chloe? Now, how exactly do I want to get under Lucas's skin? The classics are classics for a reason. Oh my goodness, who would do a thing like this? Someone should tell Lucas right away. She returns. I take it you've delivered your... something to Moses? My something? Right, my something. Yep, something delivered. So, not to be the bearer of bad news, but... Somebody drew horns in a tail on your book, Expo Standee. Are you serious? I just put that... Come on! Some people just have no respect for other people's property. Come on, stupid marker. Huh. The devil really is in the details. Absolutely disrespectful. All right, Lucas. Let's see if you're the one who smashed Sophie's windshield. Yeah, not you, Lucas. <laughs> Seriously.
Lucas was with his agent last night, not the snapping turtle. He couldn't have vandalized Toffee's car, so who did? No point in looking through Lucas's stuff now. Satisfying though it is. So this is how the literati spend their free time. Guess this Lucas didn't get a chance to put this up yet. Lucas was an AA? Good for him. Did Lucas go to a gun range? Does Lucas have a gun? That damn cow skull again. Who threw this fucking thing? His agent tells him where to park, but what does Lucas Colmanero do? Park where he wants anyway. Is Lucas really trying to file a restraining order against Sophie? Does she know about this? I'd better show her. Max? What are you... Lucas, this isn't... You can't tell her. What? You can't send Sophie that photo. Let me explain. Please. Catherine. My ex-wife, she called last night. Mad as hell. Because Robbie, our son, was repeating back to her things I supposedly told him. But I never... I mean, I could never... The shit Robbie says I told him, it, it... It makes me sick to think about. Maybe he was making it up? Acting out for attention. No. No. Even if Robbie was the type, this shit, I mean... Where would a kid even get ideas like that? He told her, I said he was the reason for the divorce. And somehow that was the least fucked up thing I'm purported to have said. This still doesn't explain the restraining order. I wasn't even there that night, Max. But someone said those things to my son. And you think it was Safi? Listen. Safi once threatened to turn Robbie against me. I know she's capable of it. But Robbie didn't say it was Safi. He said it was you. I can't explain that part yet. Maybe he didn't say that exactly. I don't know. 
Catherine won't let me talk to him. And none of this has anything to do with what happened to Sophie's car? Something happened to her car? Never mind. Forget it. Look. I know she's your friend. I know you have no reason to believe me over her, but... Just give me a chance to get this shit in order first, without her interfering. I just want to make sure my boy never has to hear anything like that again. This could all be a lie. One big smear campaign against Safi. But, oh, what if it's not? deleted it. This is between you and her. None of my beeswax. Thank you. If I can't find any evidence to back this up, I don't even know. At least I have time to look. I think I've wrung all I can out of Lucas today. Hope Ven's back at his desk now. I still have questions for that guy. Time to follow up with Vin about that windshield slip. Let's see if I can't make this canary sing. Guess Vin found his phone. Hey, you found it. Kudos. Max. Sorry to startle, just that was good luck finding it so fast. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, I'm such an idiot. I just left it on my desk. It's been that kind of day. <laughs> yeah. Coming back to the cow skull, earlier you guessed that it went through Sophie's windshield. But I never said that part. Lucky guess? I mean, how else would you get a cow skull into a locked car? I mean, things are huge. <laughs> I guess. Why are you asking about this? Sophie's a big girl. Let her deal with her own shit. Did something happen to your phone while it was lost? Huh? Oh, um, no, it's fine. I just can't get it unlocked. Fuck. It's gonna lock if I get it wrong again. Come on, Vin. I'm not an idiot. What's actually going on here? 
Why does everybody always think I'm up to something? What's really going on, Max? Is I'm having a dog shit day. I set the code to the year some old fucking magician scientist died. It slipped my mind. Magician scientist? <laughs> a Braxis shit. I must have thought it was cool at the time. I, can you just... I don't know. I'm not at my best right now. Sure. Vin is definitely hiding something. Getting into that cell phone is my best shot at finding out what. Good thing I know another Vin. for something kind of weird? Ooh, I don't do foot stuff. Damn. <laughs> well, there goes my Friday night. <laughs> Finn does owe me a favor. So, remember that favor you owe me? Yes. Um, it can be anything, right? Anything but foot stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hear it. I need your phone passcode. What? <laughs> uh, you know I can change it once you leave the room, right? I'm not giving you my phone. That's fine. I don't need the phone. Just the code. What's this? Like a like a power thing? Forcing sweet virgin boys to give you their passcodes? Fine. Suit yourself. It's one nine five two. Thanks. Now he can unlock his phone. I hope this is the right code. Ah, success. I'm sorry, Vin. I know this is a brutal misuse of powers, but I need to know if you had anything to do with this. Food pics, food pics, mirror selfie, mirror selfie. Shirtless mirror selfie. Sophie. 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 There's a lot of Sophie in here. I didn't get the impression they were close. Oh my god. Wow, that is really close. Who even were you, Safi? I really thought I could help. Poke around a little, figure out who has it out for Safi. Bada bing, bada boom. Case solved, right? 
Why else would my powers come back? Stupid. Now I have more impossible questions than I had to begin with. Lucas filing a restraining order? Vin and Sophie sleeping together? Gwen killing Sophie's book deal? I have no idea what any of it means. And the worst part is, I can't even talk to you about any of it. I won't be able to save you. Again. Whatever I do, it's going to turn out worse than I could even imagine. Get the fuck off me! I can't breathe! Everyone stay back. Give him some space. He's having a panic attack or something. I'm that I... fucking crazy. I know what I saw up there. All right, an authority figure has arrived. Sort of. Nothing to worry about. Let's give him some space. Can you run and get him some water? You okay, Reggie? <laughs> Am I okay? Fuck. <sighs> After what I just saw up there. Reggie, up where? The fucking overlook. Yes, I know. I shouldn't have been up there. I'm a fucking idiot. It's okay. I'm not mad. I just want to know what you were doing up there. Remember in your seminar? You said we should take photos of things that scare us. <sighs> well, A plus for following directions then. Now, you want to tell me what you saw? I saw myself. Another me. Walking around, working on the puzzle box that. The one that I gave you earlier? What did this other you want? I wasn't gonna fucking talk to him. I fucking ran, Max. Uh, did you tell anyone what you saw? Did you tell... Loretta, thank you. Can you take Reggie to the infirmary? Sure thing, Miss Caulfield. I'll see you later, yeah? Just make sure he's all right. Thanks, Max. Time to go back up there. I can handle this. He's not just gonna let me by, is he?
There's no way around that cop without getting spotted. Better start heading up to the Overlook. Hope there's a place to cross back over on the way. This looks a lot like Sophie's favorite candy, but hers is called Sour Cats, not Heart Stoppers. This goes against everything I learned in horror movies, but I should check for more weird shit. Why am I not at home wrapped up in a blanket burrito right now? Oh, right Alex, next? you have 24 hours before the world ends. What would you do? Better look around to see what other freaky shit is going on. From here, I should be able to make it up to the over... here are way off. I've left my phone in some bizarre places, but never this bizarre. Hello? Hello? This is Sophie. Speaking. Shit! <laughs> I know you. No wonder Reggie had a panic attack. Any more unexplainable things the universe would like to throw at me today? I hope he doesn't think we're BFFs now.
The vibes here are way off. Jesus, fuck! You've got to be kidding me. Do you think it was a student who didn't like their final grade? I doubt it. Usually those kinds tip me off with an angry, poorly written email. So do you know who did do this? No. Jesus. Why does it feel like Gwen's always got something wild going on? No matter what timeline I'm in. Last time I saw this Gwen, she was being escorted out of the building. I should ask her about Sophie's book deal. Hey, Gwen. No thanks. Not for me then. Now might be a good time to bring up Sophie's book. Before I came out, I had this boss, a free thinker, who adopted his worldview wholesale from shouty YouTubers. Yikes. And a raging transphobe to boot. They're brainwashing our kids, blah, blah, blah. Of course, I was afraid if I said something said anything, he'd figure me out. But when I was alone, I could conjure the perfect soliloquy to shut him up, make him feel as small as he made me. Gwen? What are we really talking about here? <sighs> it's circumlocution, Max. A bad habit, I know. I'll leave a girl a few vices. Point is... I've always been able to think of something to say eventually. But what do you say about something like that? Gwen, what is this? Video proof. Allegedly. From Yasmin herself. Trafficking of a controlled substance on campus. Hold on. There's no way Yasmin thinks you were selling drugs. How could she not? That there is security footage of someone who looks like me dealing to students. Someone who looks like you? This is such bullshit. Can't you fight it? Fight it? How? <laughs> that wasn't me, it was my evil twin. <clears throat> no. No. Fuck it. They've already made up their mind. You don't mean that. Thanks for believing in me, Max, but... I'm sick of fighting to prove I deserve to be here. Lucas shouting at his son? Reggie seeing himself here in the other timeline? Is Gwen another victim of doppelganger-itis? Or is she just trying to cover her ass? If I could look at that footage, maybe I could figure it out. Gwen? What are you- 
What are you doing? Saying goodbye. And... Fuck you! Fuck you. To Caledon. To Yasmin. And to feeling powerless. Gotta take catharsis where you can get it. What the fuck? Gwen, listen, if I can just get a look at this footage, I might be able to help. I didn't ask for your help, Max. Jesus, I didn't even ask for your company. I just wanted to get stoned and watch that thing burn. <sighs> Whatever. Do what you want. It's too cold for this shit. Gwen, wait. I need to ask you something. Is it true they canceled Safi's book deal? Oh, Jesus, Max. Have you ever tried not being so goddamn nosy? Wouldn't you want to know why? In my experience, some mysteries are better left out. Now, let's see if I can find what Reggie saw, or thinks he saw. What do you think of all this, Hannah? Would you still be inspired? find anything useful in this timeline. See something, say something, right? I swear, if these owls could talk, Officer Cop Cop, no one behind him. Okay, the light being on in the daytime is weird, but it's not weird weird. Still, I've got my eye on you, lamppost.
I remember that mug. It's the one Sophie drank from during the meteor shower. I have to see the place where Sophie actually... Where she... Well... No one's getting that back. If I cross over, I can try to see what Reggie saw up here. find anything useful in this timeline. Did something used to be here? I can't remember. Miss Caulfield, you, uh, out for a stroll, too? Something like that. By the way, I appreciated your help with Reggie. Oh, that? It was the least I could do. Reggie's a sweetheart. Holy shit, what are those? You can see those? Yeah. Do you think this is what Reggie saw? No. He said he saw himself. Another Reggie. God, that would have messed me up too. I was gonna come up here anyway after the suicide tip, but seeing Reggie like that, I don't know, made it feel real. Wait, suicide tip? One of the B cops let it slip. 
You run a successful podcast for a few years and you find ways to get people to open up. Speaking of opening up, I got a lead. I could cut you in. One second I'm a source, and the next I'm a fellow investigator? <sighs> Sounds like there's strings attached. No, it's not like that. I just... I feel like I kind of owe you after the whole Dr. Hunter thing. Maya Okada, one of Safi's classmates during undergrad. They were friends. Then... Maya died a couple years back. Suicide, apparently. That doesn't sound like it has anything to do with Sophie. Maybe not. I don't know. It's weird, though. You dig through Safi's life, and you inevitably end up running into... Maya. Explain something to me. Why is this so important to you? Safi was my friend. Because I hate it when things don't make sense. I have to go. Got your text. Tried calling, but you didn't pick up. It's cool, Max. Everything's cool. It's not cool, though. It is not. So, what's the damage? TLDR version? Pretty sure I'm the number one suspect. What? Why? Besides that being true for most of my life? Well, I did... I did do something. I took Sophie's camera. picture she took in her life was that selfie of the three of us and Safi would never want to have that camera that picture in the hands of the fucking police so I brought it back to my office and then I realized what the fuck am I doing it's evidence in a murder case so I just hid it in there in my office. Moses! I screwed up, Max. 
and now I don't know what to do. All right. Maintenance tech is on his way to... to unlock your office, Mr. Murphy. Then I'll just have a look around inside. Shit, I've got to get Sophie's camera out of there. Somehow. Unless you have a key card. Miss Coffee. Sorry, I don't think we've been introduced. Mr... That's Detective. Detective Vince Alderman with Vermont State Police. I'll be handling your friend Sophia's case from now on. I'm sorry for your loss, by the way. So, is there some kind of problem here, Detective? Max, it's okay. Not a problem. Slight hiccup. Mr. Murphy, apparently, gets his keycard quite often. That's true. He does. Miss Caulfield, I do need you to leave the area for the time being. Will you be okay? Mr. Murphy will be fine. I'll come back. Promise. Okay. Now's my chance to get into Moses' office. Where's a place I can shift to the other timeline? Won't have to deal with Alderman in the other timeline. Wow, these are heavy duty. I can't see anything through them. Is all this going to change now that Alderman's on the case? campus in winter. I used to think this was beautiful. Now it just makes me think of Safi. These open into Moses' office, I think. Maybe I can find a way into Moses' office from this side. Thank you. 
Hey, maybe this Moses can help me find the camera. Oh, hey, Max. <laughs> That's annoying. How do you stand it? <laughs> You'd be surprised how quickly you get used to it. I think they call that Stockholm Syndrome. <laughs> uh-huh. So, what's up? Actually, I need to ask you kind of a weird question. My favorite kind. Name it. What is your most prized possession? In here, at least. In here? But probably that mug. My sister made it for me as an early Christmas gift. Oh, that's sweet. Remind me not to get you any mugs for Christmas. Kinda left field, but if you were gonna hide something personal in this lab, where would you put it? If this is about my dream diary, trust me, you'll never find it. I'd never bring it to campus. Okay, maybe not that personal, but remind me to come back to that. Not on your life. Okay, name something in here you wouldn't want, say, Dr. Fia to find. Like, something I keep blocked away? Yes, yes, exactly. That would definitely be my electric kettle. <laughs> Maintenance has no idea where I hide that fire hazard. As I live and breathe, Moses Murphy, rule breaker. <laughs> rule bender, Max, rule bender. Anyway, <laughs> what's with all the questions? Oh. Moses, you need me to hold something or can I help somehow? Actually, yeah, I need an Allen wrench. On it. Um, got one around here? No, I borrowed one from Carla, but I think she took it back. If you can go grab that from her, I'll owe you. Okay. I can't go looking around for Carla. I need a faster way to get Moses a wrench. That's still annoying. Oh my god, stop! Just need to get Moses that wrench. I bet Moses covered his bedroom with these as a kid. Maybe the other Carla didn't take her wrench back.
Where do you keep your kettle? Hang on, Max. I gotta adjust my grip. Why is it so happy? No one's been here for days. That's new. Okay. I need to get that Allen wrench, and I need to be quick. Carla didn't take this one. Better gave this wrench to Moses. This must have been dropped off while Moses was out. The maker of this mug sure knows her target audience. So I found this guy named Alan, but he didn't know anything about a wrench. No, Max, not literally Alan. It's... Oh. <laughs> you are a lifesaver, Max. Dad joke aside. I'll never apologize for my dad jokes. And you're welcome. Mural goes here. What's that about? Safi's baby. She had the bright idea that we should draw the Gemini twins up there. I didn't know you had an artistic side. Long dormant. Comes with being the only scientist in a family of artsy-fartsy types. Anyway, I'm sure we'll get to it at some point. We have all the time in the world. So, did you want some tea? Um, yeah, if you don't mind. W with the contraband kettle, right? Just give me just a second. Sure. So the cabinet is a secret hiding spot. Let's hope the other Moses hid the camera in the same place. Definitely need that. I should check this cabinet on the other side. Hopefully the camera's in there. Thank God for this, Moses. I couldn't do this without him. Yeah, this is why I'm not a physicist. Will it distract you if I talk? Should be fine. What's up? So, the mural. What's the story there? I made the mistake of telling Safi I used to want to be a comic book artist, as she found a project that would force me to draw. Hmm. We're going to use my star projector to trace the constellation and then draw the twins around it. And 
Gemini? What's the significance? Really? I chose it because there are two of us and we'd be working on it together. But Safi imbued it with meaning. The scientist and the poet. Duality. She sells it better than me. That telescope. How long have you been working on it? A couple days. Why? Is there anything special about it? A better question would be, what isn't special about it? Misunderstood in its heyday, due in part to its experimental lens design, it's only now being lauded as the revelation it is. Underestimated and later appreciated. May we all be so lucky. <laughs> I'll let you get back to it. Aw, Maggie's cute. They're all cute, really. I should check the cabinet in the other timeline. Moses said living on his own for the first time was harder than the astrophysics. There's no way Yasmin would be okay with how Alderman is treating him. Moses is her prodigy. Harold's dishes. I've heard so many jokes about this mysterious office mate that I don't know what's true anymore. The wonders of modern technology have rendered us a turtle with a gun. Worth it. Moses was so excited when this came out. I think he bought seven copies. I feel like I understand this now. Maybe I've gotten smarter with age. All of Moses' friends are nerds, huh? No wonder he gets along with me so well. This is pretty impressive. A lot more complicated than I would have thought. I bet Moses knows something interesting about every one of these stars. The maker of this mug sure knows her target audience. These are cute. Moses' sister must have visited. I should check the cabinet in the other timeline. Knowing at least one Moses gets a happy Christmas. That's still I don't annoying. Know if that makes me feel better or worse. I thought I'd never hear another dirty joke about this thing. But Safi's alive here. God, I bet every sad poem she ever wrote is being used to justify the suicide angle. I should check the cabinet in the other timeline. So 
So this is how you set up the infamous depressed chess. Moses might actually hate snack residue on his fingers more than he hates scientifically inaccurate movies. I can see why this character is Moses' favorite. He's always looking up. Love this cozy little donut corner. for astronomers who hate the outdoors. If the tea kettle was a fire hazard, I guess a heat lamp is out of the question. Oh, Moses, what a horrible reminder. My birthday gift to Moses. I could tell how badly he wanted to say, but the moon doesn't emit its own light. I remember her wearing this earlier that night. Let's hope the camera's not the Hope the camera's in that cabinet. Moses must have finished this the night Safi died. This is beautiful. Hmm. It'd be better from another angle. This must be for working on the mural. Just relax. It was a picture of the mugs you two were drinking out of. Good. Ugh, oh, I would rather murder all my students with my bare hands than grade one more final. Oh no. Were you two up all night? Yeah. And I'll be working on these astronomy finals until sundown. What I'd give to be pulling an all-nighter grading papers instead of all of this. Safi was going to help put up the ornaments. I can do it for her. Oh, to be a tiny plant in a vial protected by a team of high-tech androids. It hurts to look at this. I really hope the camera's in here. This 
note wasn't here in the other timeline. That can't be a coincidence. Is this where he hits off his camera? Come on! How long does it take to bring a damn key? Okay, the camera might be under a safe. Where can I find this safe? On a good day, that 3D printer would be making all kinds of cool stuff. But today is not a good day over here. I don't remember ever seeing an actual safe in this office. we go. Moses and Safi. So different and yet so well suited. safe is hidden somewhere. I should just ask Moses. Hey, Moses. Another strange question. Um, you don't have a safe in here, do you? The locking kind? No. Are there non-locking safes? Well, for a second, I thought you were asking about the star safe. S-A-I-P-H. There's a star called safe. Sure is. It's a part of the Orion constellation. What the? You've been popcorned. <laughs> Engineering wants a prank war. I'm trying not to sink to their level. <laughs> Gonna go clean this out. So Moses hid the camera under a star. And of course, there are stars everywhere. Oh my god, stop! And they're safe on the lower left. Moses must have projected some stars to use as a guide. Moses said safe is part of Orion. Maybe Orion was projected on the wall that night. I need to set this up exactly how Moses had it when he was drawing.
just need to get this lined up with the mural. Shoot, it won't go down any farther. I think I got it. Fingers crossed I can find safe on that wall. So if this is Orion, then safe is... Boom. Good job finding safe, Max. Why, thank you, Max. Now then. No, no, no! Shit, I can't let him see me in here. I'm so close to getting Safi's camera. If I can just distract him for a few minutes, I think I can grab it. I'll need something noisy. Good thing I can keep an eye on Alderman from here. I didn't want to show up right in front of him. Here goes. What the hell? And now I need to shift out of here fast. Time to finally get what I came here for in the first place. Hey, is someone down there? Stupid telescope! Why couldn't Moses have put you together in this timeline? Fuck. That's... That's new. Yes! Holy shit! The telescope and all the parts switched places. Finally 
gotta run. Sorry, I... I'll text you. Yo. What? Moses. Miss Caulfield, can I speak with you for a minute? You should go. Please, have a seat. I just wanted you to have a chance to talk to me alone. Because Miss Llewellyn was a close friend of yours. We have a sensitive situation. We know Miss Llewellyn's camera was taken by someone closely linked to her death. Now, I'm pretty certain I know who took it and why. Maybe you've even guessed my thinking. But if we're going to make any progress on your friend's case, that's not enough. Therefore, I'm asking you, if you have or come by any information about this person or where they've taken the camera, can I trust you to let me know? Miss Caulfield. anything I'll let you know I'm glad to hear it and I'm sure Dr. Fayed would be grateful as well now that is my direct number no detail is too small to share you're, you're not bothering me you're helping your friend's case thanks again for your time Miss Caulfield have a good day Moses, I want to show you something. We don't have to talk about. Look. How? Okay, let's download Safi's photos onto your computer, yeah? Or... You go ahead. I need a minute to get my thoughts in order. I'll join you soon. Okay. I picked up so many things today. Best lay it all out and see if it gets me anywhere.
Ugh, she's got a sixth sense for bugging me at the absolute worst time. Oh my god, Max. How many of these movies are there? It's a horror franchise, Zoppy. They don't get good until at least the third one. The real horror is that they found a way to make three of these. Five, actually. So, is this the one where they finally explain how he's still walking around with no head, or...? Before she died, Moses was more Zoffy's friend. Here, we're all thick as thieves. Wish we'd had a chance to get to this point in our world. such sage eyes. Got any advice for me? I know you're not a magic eight ball, but can you pretend? Is all this gonna turn out okay? Outlook not so good? Shit, Neb. I could have told you that. I can't remember when it's been this clean, but it'd be the perfect place to put all my, uh, evidence. Hello? This is your new power, Max Caulfield. Saving lost cats in other dimensions? Time to greet our furry friend. I hope the cat's okay. I should check on the cat. I need to go find the cat in the other timeline. I hope the cat's okay. Oh, wow. I guess I haven't been home in this world for a couple days. It's like a time capsule of the day Safi died. Weird.
who's out there? Oh, look at you. That's a... Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't know this was a black tie event. Are you a refugee? Or a fugitive? Mm, no collar, huh? So... What do I call you? How about Daisy? I like cats named after flowers. Oh, right. Affection. What was I thinking? <laughs> well, if you're staying, I should probably consider a couple of cat quality of life changes. I should crack those open eventually. Sophie's alive here, and she might ask me what I thought. Man fears time. Time fears the pyramids. The pyramids fear this plant. Do cats like cushions? There, a bed fit for a king. Poor little guy. Hey Daisy, mind if I get a photo? Can you do a big stretch for me? Worth a try. We took in a little liquid courage before the bowling alley shoot. Sophie's insistence. Well, mostly Sophie's. I loved telling Sophie how the lens can totally change your perception of a subject. I loved that she didn't need me to explain why that was powerful. I bet the coffee table has enough room for my evidence. With Sophie alive in this timeline, I, I don't even know what to put here, if anything. I think my outfit is perfectly max. Unless...
I need a bit of space to examine the clues I've gathered. Hmm. Is that a compartment? Does something come out of here? Hey, can I move those pegs? I bet the coffee table has enough room for my evidence. The first puzzle box tested my eye for detail. This one must test another Abraxas value. I too like to strip naked with my friends and dance under the all-seeing eye to demonstrate my commitment to society. That's definitely a compartment, but I can't get it open. Yet. I need a bit of space to examine the clues I've gathered. I barely use this swanky kitchen at all, but hopefully I have something cat-friendly. This should do the trick. Here, kitty kitty. Chow time. See? We can be friends. Oh, okay. You go ahead and eat whenever you're hungry. It's been a minute since I exhibited in a gallery gallery, but... Dr. Preston was excited about working together on something next year. Okay, Max. Let's see what we've got. This was meant to be a loud message. But from who? And what does it mean? Still don't understand why Gwen would do this to Safi. Especially since she helped her get the book deal in the first place. There's a mugshot joke to be made here, but I'm not going to be the one to make it.
While I do want to see this so-called incriminating footage of Gwen, it's probably best to wait till Moses leaves to check it. I know Vin and Abraxas are entangled in everything that's happening. I just don't understand how yet. <laughs> Figures there'd be copies all over campus. I probably shouldn't leave all this out in the open. Maybe if I step away for a bit, these will all make sense later. Hope Moses is doing all right. I should go see if he's gotten Safi's camera hooked up yet. No cat can resist fucking up a perfectly good roll of toilet paper. <laughs> Okay, all cat-proofed. Moses is waiting for me in the other, uh, world. My dark room here is empty. Moses? You okay? Is it weird that I'm low-key nervous? About seeing Safi's, you know, final pictures? Far from it. Safi was special to us. To everyone. But I meant, are you okay, okay? I've been better. I apologize for what I said to that detective. You have to know I wasn't being serious. I was only trying to- Take the easy way? It's nice when you have that option. You know what? It's fine. It's fine. Hey, look. Maybe seeing Safi again will help clear the air. Hard to believe that would be the last time we were all together. That's the truth. What a crew we were. Hey, look. She took one more photo. Sneaky girl. What is this?
Max, you... You killed her? That isn't me in the picture. I swear. Uh, yes it is, Max. It's Photoshop. A deep fake, maybe. I don't know. You sold me out to Alderman. You were covering for yourself. No, Moses. Please. Let me explain. Or try to. Well? I have these... powers. Time powers. And somehow Safi's death is related to those powers. Wait! I can prove it to you! You stay the fuck away from me!